Good morning Capricorn, you're watching Emery's Tarot, my name's Clive. This is a general reading, so please take the bits that resonate, leave the rest, okay? Please don't try and make it fit, this could lead you to some wrong conclusions. So, messages for the sign of Capricorn. Here we go. Dealing with somebody that you've been... Uh, who you've struggled with for a long time to get you onto the same page. You both wanted very, very different things. You perhaps felt you were being treated more like an option than a priority. Okay. And after a long struggle through persistence, your communication is very, very important now. You have learnt a lot from this situation. And I'm kind of getting communication coming in, which, which brings kind of a breakthrough for you. Okay, but I'm kind of getting this is very challenging in the in the respect that it's conditional. And you're wondering if things have improved since the last time. I'm getting last time it was a very superficial connection because of marriage, different values. But there was a wedge driven, an emotional and spiritual wedge driven between you and this person. And for some reason you couldn't. You got loyalty to a degree, but you couldn't get, you know, commitment. Okay, I am picking up a reconnection here, but this time you're determined it's very, very different. Now, because I'm kind of getting that you are, you feel like you're stuck in the middle between the past and the, the present and the future, okay, Whatever you want out of this situation, you can actually, you're in a position to actually dictate the way this goes. So it's, it's bringing your imagination into reality and determine exactly what it is you want out of this situation. Once you've done that, you can make it so, so to speak. You can manifest that situation. It is up to you. You do feel very pressurized. Okay. There is a huge desire here, but I'm kind of getting you view this situation as too one-sided. Mm. It could well be that somebody really wants to be with you, but you, there is the possibility to have a lot of fun with this, but it's a much more realistic, a much more positive view needs to be taken okay I could say you do feel pressurized but this nine of swords here and this this well success uh, it it will resolve a lot of issues between you and this person but it will also create create an awful lot of new challenges for you the question what you're i'm getting a lot of you asking yourself is do do i really want this in my life at the moment you know you want love you want relationships to be easy this for you feels like too much pressure too much hard work okay and as much as you've tried in the past, the situation with this other person's concern, I'm getting a lot of fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You do feel that they want something from you that you're not willing to commit to. There is the, you have learnt an awful lot from this person. Okay, and there is a decision here the decision is in your hands okay and if you do want to go forward with this person it's a question of coming out of the shadows okay being much more open and f manifesting ways and overcoming the challenges to bring your dreams uh, into reality okay you know for example you know in my life when i used to live on grand canary i've met many people oh i'd like to live out here but it's that it's that but it's the s overcoming the fear it's stepping out of the comfort zone i 
I'm kind of getting this decision that you're about to make is a permanent decision. Hmm. There's a lot of forgiveness here. This person's coming in as if nothing's happened. And you're thinking, well, hang on a minute. There was a lot of pain and dis discord in the past. You know, I, I need time to really think about this. This is how you're viewing them. And at the moment, a lot of you are imagining all sorts of scenarios with this person. On the positive side, there is a lot of fun to be had with this person. But it would be a question of dropping too much expectations. I'm getting here that this person you're dealing with is non-committal. This person loves their freedom. But I'm kind of getting, you know, from your wishes to your, you know, this is why I say so often in my videos, be careful what you wish for, because the universe does grant you your wish, just not how you think. And manifesting those wishes into reality, that can then become very, very scary. But the decision is yours. And I'm kind of getting it is one where you will bring peace to yourself, whichever way. In in some ways, you're on a win-win situation here it would mean a change of scenery it would mean a different lifestyle for you you do want a change of scenery and it would require a lot of planning and letting go of a particular situation even somebody that you're possibly involved with now okay it is a question of stepping out of the comfort zone but going long term, uh, I'm kind of getting there has to be some realistic expectations. I am getting that some of you are, you know, in a fairly comfortable position at the moment. Now, whether that is work or living with somebody or even married to somebody, you know, there's there's a question of putting here something on the back burner but you know you can't just come and return once you make this decision there's kind of it's going to be very difficult to backtrack that's the possible that's the problem for you okay i'm i'm picking up a choice and for a lot of you there is a third party to relocate temporarily or permanently but there is a there is a chance here to bring a peaceful resolution to the past Okay, you have been at loggerheads, you've struggled with somebody for a long, long time. But th there is this question of stepping outside of your comfort zone. Mm. There is something here that you don't want to give up, you don't want to let go of, especially on a whim. Your tenacity and hard work is paying you off. And this is actually a gift from the universe. But it's a very, very uncomfortable gift, so to speak, from your perspective. But it is a gift nonetheless. You, you're getting your wish. You're getting your wish. Now it's becoming a reality. Mm. Mm. You do see this as very risky. And you're not sure whether you want to take that risk or not. But the good thing is the decision is in your hands. It will produce many, many new challenges. Okay. But for a lot of you, your intuition is talking to you. And, you know, you feel that this connection is possibly right for you at this time. So it's like conflicting emotions conflicting thoughts okay it's does bring in many many challenges distance for one thing for some of you okay but there is a choice here it's going to take an awful lot of strength and character determination tenacity continuity bringing your dreams into reality but first it's you know putting finding practical solutions on bringing those dreams into reality 
We could possibly be talking about immigration here, living in another country, working in another country, and that entails in itself a lot of... It can be very problematic. But, you know, the decision is yours here. From what I'm getting for a lot of you, there is a reluctance to give what you've got up here now. You... And even then, you feel there's no guarantees that this could work out. So there is this fear of stepping outside your comfort zone. Because you know once you make this move, it's not going to be easy to backtrack. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching.